Local communities struck by an EF3 tornado are now starting to pick up the pieces. And News 3 has crews live in Virginia Beach tonight where dozens of homes have been damaged by this powerful twister. And with that, we welcome you to News 3 at 5 o'clock. I'm Barbara Ciara. I'm Kurt Williams. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are beginning our show with our biggest story, a confirmed EF3 tornado. Packing winds of 145 miles an hour tearing through Virginia Beach, causing mass destruction across neighborhoods in the Great Neck area. And this is video sent from our viewer that you see behind us of that tornado. This touched down yesterday evening. Now, according to the National Weather Service, it's estimated that, as Kurt just mentioned, got up to 145 to 150 miles per hour at times. And today we're getting a better look at the damage that the twister caused. This is video from the skies by the Virginia Beach Fire Department. The National Weather Service has estimated that it damaged 115 homes, but here's the miracle. Thankfully, no injuries have been reported. And we also got some video in the sky today from our Drone 3, and you can see it here. This is just massive devastation. We've just learned that an estimated damage came from the city of Virginia Beach from this twister, and they say in the resort city it's estimated that it caused more than $15 million in residential damage and $713,000 in public damage. All right, so we want to begin our team coverage with anchor Pari Cruz, who went on a tour of the damaged area today. So Pari, how are things looking out there right now? Yeah, Kurt and Barbara, we've been out here all morning long, and as you guys mentioned, we were taking on a private tour by the City of Virginia Beach officials to survey and assess the damage, and I have to say it was shocking to us to see just how badly some of these homes and properties have been destroyed. Now, if you guys at home are wondering why we're not inside of the Broad Bay Point Greens neighborhood, I'm going to let you take a look behind me. You can see these officers that are helping direct traffic because they're still trying to avoid people getting into that neighborhood because it's still pretty unsafe with a lot of debris and crews working everywhere trying to clear the area. But earlier, as we mentioned, we were on that tour and these are some of the images we took from the bus that brought the media inside the Broad Bay Point Greens neighborhood that was hit by the EF3 tornado. Now, as we rode in our media bus, I saw house after house with the extensive damage and it just got worse and worse the further we drove into the neighborhood. The damage was so bad with some homes I was actually able to see right into them because their roofs had actually been torn off. Shingles lay strewn about everywhere. Windows broken in. Some of these homes were completely destroyed by the tornado or by trees that had fallen onto them. Now I could see debris all over people's lawns, their cars crushed, broken fences, and I could hear the sound of saws and cranes moving and lifting lifting trees, limbs, trunks everywhere I turned, all of them trying to clear some of, of the debris away. Now I even saw a boat that was split in half that was still parked in a residence driveway and it was honestly heartbreaking watching the residents and neighbors that came out to try and clean what was left of their homes. Now while I was out there I spoke to residents and crews that were working aboard up houses and people just trying to help their neighbors. But from the tour bus I was on it was heartwarming to see how all of these people banded together to help each other out and sticking together is something city officials say is crucial during tough times like this. It's a blessing. Um, I did. I acknowledge the sovereign grace of God this morning. I was in Broad Bay Point Greens with a family, uh, a physician and his wife. Uh, the physician had just had brain surgery recently and we were literally standing on their catwalk in their living room, no roof on the house, front brick wall getting ready to collapse and picking up uh, family items and so this is um, it was significant that's all I can say I just ask that the community will continue to uh, keep these individuals in prayer um, and I know that we'll come through together because you know we are VB strong and there's a commitment uh, for us to stick together in times like this And sticking together is so important. So I did want to mention you guys saw part of the video that we took. There was a lot of damage, a lot of debris everywhere. But something that was so important that we saw out here in this neighborhood was that people were coming together. They were helping out their neighbors. They were picking up debris and things that had flown out of their houses and trying to salvage what they could. But again, the most important thing was that they were doing it together. So I have very high hopes for the community. And I'm thankfully, again, nobody was hurt in this incident. Now I'm going to toss it back to you guys, Kurt and Barbara, but I'll be back at six with more from inside the Broad Bay Point Greens neighborhood. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Pari Cruz, News 3. 